my name is Monique Boileau and I'm a painter. I think my biggest inspiration when I first started creating art was nature. I was really into animals and plants and I would spend a lot of time pretending to be different animals. <laughs> um, so when I first when I was little and I first started making art, that was my biggest inspiration. But as I've gotten older, um, I'm really inspired by my peers, by other artists who paint and create in the same circles that I do. Um, lately, uh, the past few years, I've been really inspired by my experiences at music festivals and different places in the US that I've traveled to and abroad. Usually I'm inspired by what's happening in my life. A lot of times if I'm struggling with a piece, I'll reference, I won't really go like to the old masters or anything. I look at what my friends are working on and how they're going through their paintings and what their techniques are. And I've taken some classes with, with painters that I admire who are alive right now and can teach me right now what they're doing. Um, and not just how they're painting, but how they're marketing it. Last weekend I painted a mural in Wynwood in Miami and that was awesome because I've wanted to do that for probably a year now. Um, I went to Art Basel last year and yeah, it was super inspiring so that's, that's my main project right now is just trying to get more murals. I also did one at a local restaurant that got a lot of attention so I'm looking forward to doing more of those and collaborating with more artists to be able to create bigger pieces and just create something that's not just me. Um, I like creating with other artists and collaborating, so that's what I'm working on right now. My process involves being social and being around people. The biggest thing that the pandemic did was it forced me to really assess what I've been doing in my art career and where I want to take it because life is short. Um, and I think the, the trip that I took east uh, in like September, um, I drove for about a month across the U.S. from Los Angeles to West Palm Beach in Florida um, to be closer to my family. Uh, my sister just had a baby, so that was exciting, but also to um, tap into the art scene here and expand my reach because I'd really like to be an international artist and I, I want my art to go everywhere and I want to see every place that will accept it. The pandemic could be hard if, if you are okay with letting it stop you, but I'm not okay with that so I'm going to do everything I can to grow in this period. I feel like it's been a big time for growing. I don't feel like it's stopped me. I feel like it's challenged me and, and that has caused me to grow even faster. Yeah, I would say I have an affinity for Mar Vista. <laughs> um, I've been the curator of the Art Walk for two or three years, and before that I was a volunteer. Um, I started out, when I moved to LA, I started out at the Art Walk probably not even a month after I moved to Mar Vista because my uncle was supposed to go to one of their meetings. He runs Time Warp Records and he couldn't make it so he sent me. And from then I was their social media coordinator and then um, the curator took me under his wing and showed me what to do. And it was really cool to land in a community where people believe in art. I think Marvis is a really great place for artists and I'm really glad that I landed there and had the opportunity to learn about curating and learn about live painting and, and how to get artists together and keep them organized and all that kind of stuff.